This is the story of Dudley Town in Cornwall, Connecticut. The content is credited to damnedconnecticut.com. Let's get right into the story. One of the most renowned damned places in Connecticut is the abandoned and allegedly cursed village of Dudley Town. But as with many dark places, Dudley Town wasn't always like that. Like much of Connecticut, settlers came to the area around what is now the quiet little town of Cornwall in the mid-18th century, and that includes the first Dudleys who came from England via Guilford to the Litchfield Hills in 1747. They helped create what became a thriving community, known then as Alsbury, primarily fueled through the region's growing iron industry. Homes were built, the land was farmed, iron was forged, and the town grew and prospered, and all was well. Or so it seemed. Some attribute the demise of the town to multiple mundane factors. The depletion of the farmland, the decline of the area's iron industry, the natural progression of younger Americans heading west to settle new lands, etc. Of course, there are others who simply believe the Dudley clan was cursed, as an inordinate number of Dudley supposedly came to untimely ends and that the curse extended to the village they helped found. Whatever the cause, Dudleys died off and the settlement's population continued to dwindle until about the turn of the 20th century, when the last resident finally gave up and abandoned what was left of the town. The surrounding forest slowly swallowed up the homes and buildings, and today the only remnants of what had been are a few crumbling foundations and empty cellars. Oh, and the curse of the Dudleys. The story goes... Anyone who's tried to live in what had been Dudley Town has come into some terrible misfortune. Over the years, there has allegedly been everything from suicides to demonic possessions and all the hysterical drama in between. The Warrens famously recorded a Halloween special from Dudley Town in the early 1970s, declaring it officially demonically possessed, which essentially opened the supernatural floodgates. Since then, it has been home to all sorts of alleged paranormal experiences, with vi visitors witnessing all manner of spirit and phantom, as well as having unsettled feelings of dread and fear. As you might expect, the area also drawn the attention of those enthralled with dark forces and demonic rituals, plus a healthy number of amateur ghost hunters and teenagers simply looking for trouble. In short, it's become a damnation destination. Of course, much of the mythology around the curse of Dudley Town has been debunked by a Dudley descendant, no less the Reverend Gary P. Dudley. But why would anyone let that get in the way of a good spooky story? Quite simply, there are no curses, otherworldly events, or dark tragedies, tragedies in the actual history of the town. Is that the case? No one will ever know. It's up to you to go find out for yourself. If you do go to Dudley Town, though, you will notice that the remains of Dudley Town are on private property owned by the Dark Entry Forest Association, who vigorously discourage all visitors. It is heavily patrolled by local and state police who will not hesitate to arrest and prosecute any trespassers whatsoever. So if you go, be safe. Be safe from what's out there on the other side, spiritually, supernaturally, and from the police themselves, physically. Thank you for listening and watching this video. Stay tuned for more paranormal content to come, which is coming very soon. As always, cheers, ciao, sending you many blessings. Have a good night.